Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this glorious, amazing rock. Welcome to How to App on iOS, and my name is Jade. Spend some time with me, we are going to have some fun today with a new app called Bias FX2. Yeah. Man, I've been waiting for this app to come out for such a damn long time, and it's finally here, and it costs a lot of money to actually buy. So let's get to it. (laughs) I hope everybody is doing well. I have just woken up, and let me tell you, in Australia at the moment, it is cold in the morning, and it is hard to get up. (laughs) I assure you of that. So I hope it's nicer wherever you are. Uh, How you going, Bubba? Good to see you. And Tom? Okay, so we are going to play with some really cool effects today on this uh, Bias FX2. And we're going to chug a damn lot of metal. Shit, yeah, motherfucker. Awesome shit. Alrighty then, let's have a look. So, we're looking at Bias FX2. It is the successor to Bias FX1, amazingly enough. Now, Bias FX1, I really love that app. I used it a hell of a lot. I had unlocked all of the pedals and cabs and all of that stuff. So, um, and it was used quite a fair bit in my arsenal. So, when I heard that they were doing Bias FX2, I thought that was really cool, and I was really looking forward to some improvements, and I was really looking forward to AUV3. Unbelievable that they didn't add AUV3 to this app. It's the one drawback that I see heaps of people complaining about in forums and such. It's a drawback, but I do have a feeling that it is going to be a part of a future update. There's been hints that Positive Grid have put out there. Um, And it's, you know, it's it's not anything new that um, app developers do this kind of thing. There's been several apps I've had in the past that have added AUV3 later on. Uh, We all know that InterApp Audio is, as they say, a thing of the past. Um, And everybody's panicking about it. I see so many people asking questions, you know, when's it going, when's it going? This is a thing they're rolling out over a number of years. So I really wouldn't expect it to disappear even this year or I would say sometime next year. There's plenty of time for Interrap Audio to still be around. It still works. And as anybody would have seen from Apple's keynote last week with their move to their own um, chips on their Macs, that's going to be a two-year rollout just for that. So I really don't see them moving away from Interrap Audio anytime soon and it's going to be a gradual thing that slowly disappears and i'm sure all the developers that don't have inter uh, have auv3 in their apps know a dead they would be more privy to information than us on when that's going to end so here is the app in the app store um it's free to download so keep that in mind you get a bunch of presets that really aren't worth much when you download it at first so keep that in mind and you are going to have to pay some money to actually get use of this. Now, anybody who has Bias FX 1, there is a transition program where you can transition. If you've paid for everything on Bias FX 1, you can bring it all across. Um, it's not, it's it basically the pedals and the cabs and all that. It's That's about it. You don't really get access to um, anything new. You've got to pay on top of that so it's a bit of a pain in the ass i'm going to be straight up um in australia because our dollar has been pretty bad um against the u.s dollar over the last uh six months it actually cost me a hundred and nine dollars to unlock everything and i had bias fx2 with everything unlocked so i was pretty upset about that i was pretty dark i thought it was going to be a bit cheaper but is it um, positive Grid's fault? Not really. Oh, what happened there? There we go. My iPhone has just decided to start playing.
playing my live show. How's that for technology? I didn't even have my live show up and it just started playing. Gotta love it. Anyway, hey Stu, hey Scott. So let's get into this app. Let's cut through the crap. Oh, sorry, what was my last train of thought before that happened? I was I was pissed off, let's be honest, but it, it's not Positive Grid's fault. It was the dollar. You know, it really should have only cost. I saw uh, people in America, so the upgrade was $60. But our dollar, as I said, is absolute garbage at the moment. So it felt like a ripoff. All right, let's open this thing up and have a look at it. Uh, where are we? Bias effects 2. And here's your start screen. It virtually looks exactly the same as Bias Effects 1, but it's got some added additional features, some which I will go over a little and some which I will go over a lot. Mainly I'm going to be looking at pedals, setups, the cloud, and it's up to you guys to have a look at the rest of it yourself, really. So let's grab a pick. Uh, do I have my camera set up for my guitar? I should do. Yeah. So we're back on the uh, seven string today. I'm probably going to grab the six string in a second for some sounds. Oh, we've got some sound here. Cool. So when you initially set up, uh, you know, run the app for the first time, you're going to get a bunch of presets and here they are. So there's four sections here and they are this free. That's your free section. Um, and you've got the, when you uh, pay for additional packs, which clearly you can see here, you've got a standard pack, professional and elite. You get these extra pedals added into these sections here. So as you can see, the further, the more you buy like the elite, the more sounds you're going to get from them. So even the standard one, when you pay the initial standard fee, there's not much you really get in there. There's not a lot. They're pretty stingy, let's be honest. I'm not going to cut, I'm, I'm going to cut through the shit with uh, Positive Grid because they owe me a Spark Amp. Uh, now, another thing I'll let you know before we get into listening to these tones. If you've got Bias Effects 1 and you've saved your own preset uh, tones from the cloud, here's the bad news. They don't transfer over anything you've got saved. You have to actually manually go in and look at them all saved in your Bias FX1 and go search for them in the Tone Cloud and add them all. So I had to do this last night. I spent a whole bunch of time. So I've got here, let's make this screen a little bit bigger. Get off my guitar for a second. Where are we? There we go. So you'll see here I've added Bias FX1. So these were all effects I had already saved. Acoustic stuff, um, bias one leads, bias one metal settings. I had to go in and individually add all these myself. It was about an hour's work. Again, I'm paying $109. I really don't want to have to go and do this. So a negative there. Where this is a positive is the tones. The tones shit on everything else. I don't really care what anybody else says. The tones kick ass. Compared to something like we looked at Tone Bridge. Hey, Tone Bridge is awesome. I use it for heaps of stuff. But the first few tones I downloaded on this, I was blown away. So let's have a look at the free tones you get initially. Um, just to have a look at an easy crunch. This is just a basic crunch you get. And I turn down, I'm just going to run through some of these, turn down the mic um, and have a listen.
Now, you may have noticed what I was trying to show you there is I went through a collection of sounds from the first four things that you pay for. And if you noticed, from the free to standard to professional to elite, I tried to pick metal tones from all four of them, and they progressively got better sounding. So clearly the free sound was dog shit. The standard one was pretty basic, and the professional one so much better for a metal tone. And then when we get to the elite tone, much better. And these are just the basic tones that are already built in. A lot of this stuff I don't use because it is really basic. And I mean, as you can see by the names here, let's have a look at them. Um, Enter Thrash Man. <laughs> Holy shit. Can you, can you get like more generic ripoff title? <laughs> look at the one above it. Cowboy from Heaven in reference to Pantera's Cowboys from Hell. Let's have a listen to this. Song of Destruction. What do you reckon this is? Appetite for Destruction, Guns N' Roses? Wonderwall. I wonder who that is. So you can see, uh, oh my god, even Paranoid Sabbath. <laughs> cool. So there's some pretty basic sounds there that you get from, uh, from the initial stuff. But that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to talk about the cloud. Hey Pete, what's going on? Good to see you. Hey Metallion. Okay, so... The thing that makes this app shine before anything else, before we actually have a look at the, the pedals and everything that you can see here on the screen, up in the top, top right hand corner when you sign in to the cloud, and again, it's like uh, Tonebridge yesterday when we looked at it. You sign in with your Facebook, however you want to sign up. You, you're shown this front page, and normally it's a featured guitarist like Marty Freeman is, is this particular month, and you can... Have a look through at other guitarists. You know, this is a wank fest to me, really. I don't really use any of this stuff. Um, but again, like the uh, Tone Bridge setup, you have all these user presets that people uh, put. And you can sort them by popularity, which is always a good way to go. Um, and these, and you can do it as well. You can search through these uh all these presets you can save them to your tone cloud save them in little folders you can create your own and upload them and name them people can rate them all that kind of stuff this is a great way though to get set up with sounds like we did with tone bridge yesterday something that sounds like you know a similar sound you're looking for uh, and here's the beauty of it instead of just like having to rely on okay i'm going to click on this have it and uh, add it to my list play it see what it sounds like you can actually click on the tone and you can see there's download or preview. When you hit preview, it's supposed to be instantly, but it changes whatever tone you already had set to this tone. Okay, that's pretty high gain. I'm gonna keep that one. So let's download this one. Now I wanna add it to my bank so i'm going to add it to bias two metal one confirm and it's easy as that that now is in my list now i can go have a listen to this um carnival where are we let's have a look at something else we've got a corn let's look at this metallica creeping death one so now i've clicked onto this app and it's gone back to the default sound i was already on previously before we open the tone cloud. So now once again, I can hit preview. I can pick another one, death metal. Let's see what death metal's like. Oh, it's not very death metal. Let's see if we, what else we can find here quickly. So I am sticking with metal because <laughs> so I love these ones. Somebody's called this Degent. Da, 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 degent. 
Let's see how degent this is. Wow, that's pretty degent. Let's pull down the microphone for a second of a degent. Okay, there's a fair bit of digent there. Let's just add that again. So I want to take that to bias two metal one confirm download. Now when I leave that, the tone goes back to what was previously here, which was this paranoid Sabbath tone. Now I have downloaded some things previously. Just excuse me for a second. And yes, I am about to get into looking at the pedals. So we will do that momentarily. Um, let's have a look. So I'm going to jump into some of the presets I already have here. And I'm going to go with my favorite. So this is, um, man, I love this sound. This was, as you can see, it's 1A. This is the first sound that popped up in popularity when I downloaded this app on day one. And <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it's one of my favorites. It's pretty damn sick. Man, that's cool. So let's just stick on this for a moment. Turn the guitar down for a dick. And let's have a look at pedals. So, as you can see here, this is your pedal lineup. And like with all effects setups, everything runs in order. You can move pedals around. If you want them turned off, you can flick them up to get them out the way. Clearly, we want the noise gate back on because it creates a lot of hits when you remove it. You can create dual routing just by the click of a button. This is such an improvement to Bias FX 1. So it splits everything to, to your um, stereo channels there. That is absolutely so easy. You had to, it was so difficult in Bias FX 1 to do that. And at the touch of a button here again, bang, back to single. So that's really cool. If you want to add effects, you can replace effects across here. You can delete and clear. Let's have a look at some effects, shall we? Because there's heaps. Um, so you've got a nice choice of four noise gates. Always good to see. Compressors. Um, and remember, I've paid for the full uh, setup here. So I've got IR racks as well. Um, and H, um, high definition um, setups here. You can see down the bottom this multi-compression in HD and the advanced compressor. These are some pretty powerful compressors, seriously. Um, again, you have to pay for the full price to get uh, to unlock it, that stuff. So a shitload of compressors. We've got some pitch shifters. There's a uh, Crybaby wah pedal in there as well. Um, and a lot of these pedals too uh, were come across from the original bias effects too um, and in their recent oh god there's an update yesterday for this app and they added a whole bunch of new pedals i'm not sure which i haven't got to have a look yet through them uh, you've got your boost pedals um wow well, plenty of dry i mean these are just the drive pedals too so what have we got there and remember too you've got bass bass pedals as well you get this awesome acoustic preamp i'm going to quickly run through the acoustic stuff in a sec as well so what the acoustic um, simulation does is try to turn your electric guitar and simulate it to sound like an acoustic it does a pretty good job too like it, it does a fantastic job i'm absolutely impressed by it distortion pedals uh, so you've got a fuzz modeler down the bottom and a preamp rack down here. 
um, plenty of fuzz pedals and I love this thing look at this thing how much of a 90s <laughs> pedal does that look like and Jesus so I just added that pedal very easily um, not sure what a difference it's made <laughs> And to remove it is really easy. Just head on over to the delete section and it's gone. So they do make it very, very easy to add, delete, mod everything um, back to distortion pedals. You've got a heap of fuzz pedals there. How could I overlook this one? Look at that. Isn't this the perfect representation of a, <laughs> of a metal pedal? Uh, let's go back and where are we? I'm getting off track because I'm so excited about all these pedals. You've got EQ pedals. Again, um, you've got an acoustic imager down the bottom here. And this was the original acoustic sim that they included in, in the first one. So there is a guitar muff in there. There's always a guitar muff in there. And we love to grab some muff, especially Donald Trump. He loves to grab things by the muff. Um, his words, not mine. Wow. <laughs> Um, so you've got heaps of modulation too. So my flanges, rotaries. Um, there is a ton of pedals in here. And the digital delays are really high standard. Absolutely killer high standard digital delays. Um, reverbs. So there's plenty to play with in the pedal selection. Uh, let's pop out of there. Uh, I'm just going to quickly, so I don't make too much noise here. I'm just going to turn down my guitar, flick back to the other screen. Where are we there? Okay, let me just change guitars. We're looking at for time. Cool. Yeah. So while I'm uh, changing this over. I'm thinking tomorrow, I'm probably going to do two apps in one. Um, I'm probably going to look at the VR, uh, the V Stomp and the G, GE Labs in the one show because there's another um, guitar amp I want to fit in this uh, fit in this week. So I'm still deciding that. I'd love to get your feedback on that. Um, the only reason I'm saying that I would do two tomorrow is because I'm going to be honest, V Stomp and GE Labs are pretty much clones of Bias FX. They run on different pay models. One's a subscription to give you uh, open slots to save your uh, own presets, and the other one is a flat $20, $30 to unlock. But they pretty much run exactly the same as, as Bias from my playing with them. Okay, I'm quickly going to show you some of the other features on here, but I'm not really going to run through these because... Just because I don't have the time and I'm trying to cut the shows down. So you do have a tuner up the top, which is always handy. And it's... It, tunes really good when you pay for the unlock full feature you've got a looper built into it um not that i ever really use a looper so but it's there and i'm guessing it's competent um you have a pedal board here so you can um set up all your tones and and and, and you know click everything through a pedal board if that's what suits you unfortunately from the get-go I don't know why they didn't do this. They haven't included um, MIDI. <laughs> they haven't included uh, MIDI setup to actually connect a, a pedal board, a physical pedal board to this. So it's it's pretty useless at this point, unless you're playing live and you have the thing on a on a stand on a you know a little holder that's connected to your mic stand or whatever as a guitarist, and you can touch the screen. But not ideal for a guitarist. You want a foot switch. And it would make sense for it to connect to a foot switch. So that's a bit frustrating. Um, you've got your output settings here. So you've got total control over your preamp, your stack, the cabs. Uh, 
whole lot of all your um, highs, middle, bass. So there's a lot of depth within your global settings of each cab and your heads and all of that. Um, the other feature which a lot of people are talking about, and I'm, again, I'm not going to go into it, you can actually map out, so I'll show you the start of it. You can map out your guitar. So whatever type of guitar that you have, you can choose whatever the body is, okay? So say we've got a flying V. Uh, you can add that and then, uh, oh, I've got to choose a name. Okay, uh, V for Vendetta. And then from there, you, you virtually uh, select what pickups you have, what the guitar, what the guitar's pickups are, and with each one that you pick, say uh, well, this middle pickup, so sim coil, start matching, and you play each note. Let's try that again. Oh, you're not working. Let's try pause, resume. I don't know why you're not working. Do I have no? I don't have you plugged in. That's probably why. Oh man, live! Anyway, so look before. I Oh, has it? Virtually, what you're doing is you're playing each string, so your uh, pickups pick up each string, and then you go with, uh, with each pickup, and it so it creates a, a identity of your guitar, and then you can choose from a whole range of other guitars that uh, are pre-made into this to virtually make your Fender Strat sound like a flying V. So that's the deal. I haven't really looked at it yet because I haven't had time because I've been too busy playing with the tones and that isn't something that has been something that concerns me. So that's why I really wasn't going to go over it today. But it could be something that we go over in a later show. So that is a quick overview of this app. What we want to do now is actually show it in usage. Now, yesterday, you will recall, um, I used Audio Bus 3 as an in-between for, uh, for Tone Bridge and GarageBand. Now, the reason I do that is if you've ever tried to um, use Tone Bridge as an inter-app audio, it just doesn't seem to work in GarageBand, choosing it that way as an effect. Um, audio Bus is the only way to really do it for me. Whereas with this one, it's a little bit different. As it is into app audio only, it works beautifully. Just let me have a look over here. Um, no, I haven't noticed any latency with it, but um, yeah, n none at all. Um, it's been really solid. And the thing is, when they first released it, there was a whole bunch of bugs where none of the Tone Cloud presets from Bias FX 1 would work with bias effects too and everybody was furious but they actually fixed it on the same day of the release so they knew about it before it actually went to the app store so they, they were pretty quick to fix that and they have had since it's been out about three updates i do believe and already so it's only been out for a month just they're already adding new pedals um, and updating it and keeping it nice and fresh so they seem to be giving a shit about it, which is a good thing. Um, so here we are in GarageBand. What we're going to do here is add a new track. Going to go to Inter App Audio. And there it is at the top there, Bias Effects 2. And that's pretty much it. It's added. It's in the song. We should be good to go. If I uh, hit record, let's give it a go. Take a risk. 
Let's try that again with a can with an actual county. Sweet. So as you can see, I hardly did anything to really, hardly did anything to that. And look at that WAV file. It's a beautiful level, not too loud, not peaking. I didn't even touch it. Just works. That's pretty damn cool. So you can actually add this as well, the same way as I did yesterday with um, ToneBridge by using InterApp Audio. And if you have a keyboard, it's really easy to, I mean, you can uh, just touch here to check out the actual app and to go back with a keyboard, command, tab, straight back over. Or you can swipe up like you would to flick between. So that's nice and easy as well. All sounds good, I think. Um, Lastly, I will quickly flick over back to the app. And as you can see, I've already picked a whole bunch of really cool metal tones I have in here. Um, what was I going to show you? Some acoustic stuff just quickly. Since uh, we have this here, where was it? I think it was uh, acoustic. Um, acoustic 2. Just turn down my mic. So it's been a long time since I played any Metallica. Who plays Metallica anymore? They suck. So that is a quick overview. Not so quick, but quick enough of what's going on. Is it worth the money? I don't know. It's up for you to decide. I think it is. I'm going to get an absolute shitload of use out of it for my album. 
it's an investment, I believe. Um, after, you know, I know Tonebridge is always there to fall back on for some reason. Uh, look, I'll, I'll be completely honest and transparent. It is a definite win for me because I'm already um, tied up in the positive grid kind of ecosystem. I already had paid for the pedals. I was already used to the interface. I'm not going to cry about no AUV3. Plus, as I've mentioned, I've ordered a Spark 40 watt amp from Positive Grid, which who knows? I could get it by 2030. Who knows? That's another complete different story. I'm going to get my value for money out of it um, compared to other apps that I'm probably going to show tomorrow and the day after, which are comparably cheaper. But this suits me. Does it suit you? That's a different question. Um, I don't think you can download Bias FX1 anymore to even test out and see if it's going to work for you. My thing would be to download it for free, have a look, work it out for yourself. That's what I'm here to do. Just show you it in around 20 minutes. Um, before I do shut down for the day, there is integration like Bias FX1 with their other apps like where are we uh so bias amp and bias amp 2 and bias pedal they both integrate in really well so you can flick between and, and import cabinets from bias amp and you can import pedal setups from bias pedal and go back and forward so that works really well too so you've got far more options it's pretty deep and um if you're a guitarist you can get lost in it. So, look, I recommend it, but it's up to you if it's going to be your deal. So, that is the show for today. I hope this has helped you out somewhat. Um, let me know in the comments. If you're catching up on the replay, let me know there. Tell me what you think. Is it ideal for you? Are you going to check it out? Are you going to buy it? All cool. So, thank you, everybody, once again, for joining me this morning. And I will give you a personalized <laughs> goodbye. As you can see, I have this lovely um, velvet dressing gown thing on and my sifter of port. <laughs> um, so, um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and get ready for my Patreon, which is coming in the next week and a bit. So everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy guitaring. And I'll see you tomorrow with some more. Another look at some more cool guitar apps. Until then, stay safe, stay wild, stay hungry, and stay beautiful. Adios, amigos. Goodbye.